This was an exciting day for us. This was the day that our container was finally delivered to us here in Tennessee. Up until this point, we had been living out of the suitcases that we packed on Kauai for the last three months. More about the logistics of all of that in a second. I just have to pause to big up my husband, John Olson, there up on the top of our container, manning this escapade here. I found it quite interesting that the crane company that we hired to lift the crane from the trailer that moved our container cross country to our trailer came without any ground work help at all. So you can see my husband was the one climbing up under the container, locking everything down. Um, yeah, he really kind of ran the show. <laughs> but I guess if you want something done right, you're gonna do it yourself. And my, let's just put it this way, ain't nobody does it like John does it. That's for dang sure. So we've got the container now off of the trailer that shipped it. And here's in Roland John with his trailer. We're gonna position this under the container and bring it on down. We did do all the moving ourselves, so we didn't hire a moving company, and John took care of the logistics of getting everything moved from A to Z, which was pretty intense because when we left Kauai, we did not have a home yet on Tennessee. Uh, we had purchased our land, but we didn't know where we were going to live. And wow, with the way the real estate market was and is, it, it really it was quite the adventure um, getting a house. So that's where that three month span of leaving Kauai and not having our stuff took place. Okay, I love it. So here you can see John stepping in again. He goes from driving the trailer forward to now helping to position the container where it needs to be on this trailer. So this was something pretty special, just seeing all of our belongings being backed into our very own driveway after a few months of traveling across the country, leaving a place that we had called home for close to 20 years and kind of being homeless for a few months. I mean, this thing is packed. 
<laughs> well, I mean, there is some moisture in the bags. Uh oh. The mold bag. They captured it. Didn't oh, moisture. Know. Okay. Well, that's a good thing. Yeah, it didn't know it was supposed to do. It's moisture in the damp bags. What are they called? Uh, they're like uh, dehumidifying bags. Dehumidifying bags. We put a bunch of those throughout the container. Oh yeah, things. So in our next video, water. I'm going to show you how, without a forklift, we removed an approximate 1,800 pound toolbox and some other woodworking tools out of this container, uh, utilizing what we did have, some cinch blocks and pulleys and a rope. It was a pretty uh, innovative and, oh man, kind of nerve-wracking experience, but we did it.